Hey, what is going on guys? It's the Game of Pro where I was noticed you to be in today's video I'm bringing you guys the best looking guns with dark matter now Let's just jump straight into it. The first one we have here is the CUDA uh, If you look at this if you reload it just has so much dark matter on the gun You can see every little particle moving you actually can see a little red in there, too Now this is obviously one of the best guns in black ops 3 So it's I'm definitely going to be rocking this with the dark matter camo unlike the freaking the first one and I just died great but as I said, I'm going to be using this among the other camos that are like the Halison that you get, like the rare one. But the next one we have here is the Weevil. I think this one actually has a lot more than the Cuda. You can actually see so much more with this gun. If I just spin around here, you can see a little bit more red. Uh, this way you can't see anything. But yeah, I'm going to be shooting this. There's not going to be that much explanation because one, I'm a bad explainer, and two, you guys already know how Dark Matter looks like, and I'm about to die again, so I'm just gonna commit suicide and go to the next gun. So the third gun we have here is the Razorback. If you reload it, I actually think you actually can see Dark Matter too. I think it's really nice among the other guns because some of the guns are really, really bad. You can't really see the Dark Matter that much. For example, the, um, what's it, the Gorgon and the 48 Dredge. Like, like the most of the LMGs, you can't really see that much of Dark Matter. And the Dracon as well, you can't really see it, so I'm not going to be using those as much. So the fourth one we have here is the HVK-30 Assault Rifle. I actually think this has a lot, a lot of in-depth in it with Dark Matter. It literally almost covers the whole entire gun, and I think it's really, really cool. So yeah, guys, the fifth gun we have here is the MAA-7. And once I wanted to do this top 15, top 20, whatever, how many guns I put in this, and I just fucking died again. But yeah, as I was saying... I, once I wanted to do this, top 15 or top 20 or whatever, I knew the M887 was going to be in here. I really, really wanted to actually put this in here because you can see it almost covers the whole entire gun just like the HVK-30. And I really, really like how it looks like. The sixth gun is the Haymaker. And you're saying, like, why would I pick this? But once you reload, what you're going to do a shit ton with this weapon because it is an automatic shotgun. And, you, like, the mo like... The, what you have to pay attention to is the Dark Matter once you reload. You actually can see a, a, so much more with it when you reload. The top doesn't really matter because, one, you're going to be uh, hip fire with a shotgun, so you're not going to be going like this. And second, I just think it's actually a really cool weapon, and I just got the kill can. That's great. Whoa, 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 hold up. There is a kid on the other team that his name is Epic Rhino Nuts. What the fuck? Who created your name, bro? It better not be you, and it better not be Xbox, or I'm getting straight to fucking PS4. All right, guys, so the seventh weapon we have here is the Argus. Now, again, it's the same thing as the Haymaker. You don't see that much dark matter, but it's all about hip fire. And once you actually, like, look into it, there is a bunch of detail on this weapon with dark matter, and I think it looks really, really cool among the other shotguns. The eighth one we have here is the Dingo. And you guys, you can just see it automatically. This in zombies and in general in multiplayer is going to be absolutely amazing here. Wait, let me see when I reload this. Okay, so wow, that is just, wow. Why isn't the drum mag just dark matter too? That would have been amazing. But yeah, as you guys can see, it looks really, really nice. Let's go to the eighth one, we or ninth one. Now, the ninth one we have here is the SVG. I use this sometimes if I just like quick scoping people because obviously if you guys know... Uh, this is a one-shot kill to the knee and above, so it's really, really useful. Now we're going into the secondaries, and the tenth one is the MR6. I think this is really, really nice because pistols, you shouldn't see that much of it because people don't use pistols, but, like, this is just absolutely insane. Like, so much detail on a pistol. Like, what the hell? But anyways, guys, there's not that much left. There is the BRM, which I think is really cool. It's just like the Dingo. It has a lot of dark matter on the gun. I think that I'm going to be using now this a little more and especially rocking it with the dark matter because it is absolutely insane. The 12th one we have here again, just like the MR6, is the B23. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Is the RK5. I don't know why I keep calling this the B23R. Yeah, just because it does look like the RK5 and it is like the, pretty much it functions the same way. But as you guys can see, the gun looks insane with dark matter, just like just in, with every gun. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be using this with, uh, for example, a sniper if I do play search and destroy or something after I hit master prestige, obviously. 
because right now I'm just focusing on getting Master Prestige and getting XP as fast as possible. So the last two weapons, the first one here is the P06. I hate this weapon, I don't know why I even put this on this list. I mean, it does look really, really nice, but at the same time, this weapon is just horrible. It gives me fucking cancer every time I see it. And again, I'm never going to use this shit weapon ever to every time. Uh, fucking hell. Yes, that's exactly what happens when I fucking hate weapons. I just stutter. And let's just move on from this weapon. I can't see it anymore. We now have the combat knife. Yes, the combat knife. Now that they've added that, you can actually look at the knife. Just look at it. Just It's just amazing. Every single inch of it is just filled with dark matter, except for the like the rubber part, which I expected. I mean, there's not going to be fucking camouflage on a rubber part. But yeah, let's flip the knife. Ooh, okay. Flipping the knife, flipping the knife. I like that. Man, that looks really nice. It reminds me a lot of CSGO that they added. I mean, this game is just almost like CSGO, but obviously not as perfect. And I see an enemy here, so I'm just going to jump off the... Actually, no, what teammates are spawning here. So that they're actually not going to flip spawns. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this top 20, I would say, top 15, somewhere in between there. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you're new. And I will see you guys in my next video tomorrow. Peace out.